This is so fun. You love him? <laughs> he's just like a snuggle bug. You can like hug no, him. No, he's a scarf. Put, put, put him on you. He's a scarf? Yeah, yeah. like a very yeah. He's yeah. a giant snake, like scarf. snake scarf. Yeah. What was that? You see? All of them. Ew. He's like a ball constrictor. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's yeah. normal. It's normal. Don't no worry. Hold on, let's make a nut and then you can just wear him outside. Oh, no. There you go. Yeah, it's really comfortable. This <laughs> thing, that thing really works. Like amazing. What is he Picture stuffed it? with? Stuffed with uh, gravy. Stuffed oh with really? Stuffing. <laughs> stuffed with stuffing. Let me see you with your fabulous Nicole. It is psychologically tempering with this like system of very reduced archetypes. Right. That we used to tell stories and then through those experiences and these types of things that we do it like opens these portals inside of people it's like service art we totally. kind of feel you know because even though it seems like there's cartoon influences and stuff there's like a spirit i feel like i don't know if that sounds corny but i feel like any yeah. pieces of your guys stuff there's like a little spirit like alive in each of the characters you guys make yeah. instead of it being like a stagnant like anime thing? Yeah, yeah. that's what we get yeah. into using that symbolism is because we were kind of like um, looking for some kind of verbiage that was neutral to an extent. Right. You know, because we were, and, and again, this is all like looking hindsight now and it's a lot easier to decipher at this point. When we first like were doing these things, it was completely intuitively and we were just making it. The central thing and why we got to that aesthetic all reduction was because we were trying to get to these archetypical ideas mm -hmm. and trying to transcend uh, how those archetypical ideas manifest in any given civilization. We're trying to engineer new rite of passages for the modern individual, like baptism is a pseudo like right. rite of passage, you know? and there's a whole bunch of other examples of it, like how do we redesign that and basically repurpose them mm -hmm. and put them in society in a way that's acceptable, that's economically like feasible to activate those things. Those are all things that play into it, like social engineering more than just like art, you yeah. know? And it's like, how do we really seep these ideas like through society in some way that we could hope that transcend us? Yeah, like a new church. Almost. Yeah, and hopefully, <laughs> yeah. you know. Without any of the dogma or yeah. without any of the like, like the weird rules and stuff, stuff yeah. like that, you know? The high art forms, like in our kind of thinking is like architecture and right. filmmaking which are really like five plus year practices. It's like, right. if you're Based. thinking of this like, <clears throat> this like thing of like how it's gonna function in the world, like this piece of architecture that people are gonna use and function and that is gonna influence this large group of people. Yeah. Like, it takes almost, that long. Like Rainbow City, this giant inflatable right. village that we did in New York was probably like a six year project that culminated in New York do you ever feel to when you're that close to such a big process that like when it's getting closer to being finished, do you feel like a full satisfaction of like, that's exactly what we had an idea of five years ago yeah, or does it change excited. throughout, you know? It's like a total process. It becomes powerful when you're able to see it abstracted after like the fact. other people's use. Yeah. Other people's use or after mm -hmm. the fact. Like now, I almost appreciate more the things that we did eight years ago than when yeah. we did them. Because I'm able to see it like, I have a better like almost uh, appreciation of it. Yeah. At the point you're in the in the machine, and, you know, and you're like just the hands of this thing that we're transcending, right. and you're almost like a puppet. It's always exciting to see like the thing come real. It's like ecstasy almost. Like yeah, it's I like imagine. unbelievable. From sketching like Mad Men to taking those sketches to like formulating this thing now into the computer, adding color, remixing, redesigning it. Then finding money for it, it's like a miracle, every one of these major things that we've pulled off. We don't feel that we're making just our painting. We have the supporters that kind of like feel in tune with those mission and like help us. And without the people that help us make these things, we wouldn't even have been able to pull off the stuff we pulled off. It's not his idea, it's not my idea, it's the idea. Right. And the idea is always more like bigger than either our personas. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to like do things that are coming from a more neutral 
above our persona point of view. Yeah. So there's just so much that you could do at the gallery space. Why wouldn't like the whole society be like entitled to experiencing those ideas? There's this one experience that I had with my mom, and it was like a few years ago. She went into like one of our bounce houses, and she was like bouncing, and she got stuck in the corner like a little kid does, you know? Yeah, when they like miss. And she was yeah. laughing, like I've never heard her laugh. Like I saw her as a little girl, and it blew my mind, and oh. it was like, like paradigm shifting for me. You know what I'm saying? Like. Seeing her like gregariously, like, ah, like uncontrollable, like laughing like a little girl, I was like, fuck, That's yes, crazy, yeah. we're doing it. Like, and little hints like that kind of guide us, I feel. Is there a name for this suit? This is Malfi. Here, let me. It's like one of our main characters. He's a very special wizard, super powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, here we go. Give it a second. I was gonna fill up with air. I'm alive, Sully B. Malfi, you're you're an amazing wizard. You have all the powerful power in the world. So, yeah, you could be scared. If you're scared, be scared. Just be scared. Don't worry. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's great. That was so much fun. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. You did amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. That was beautiful. Oh wow. You feel like a different great. person. Totally, right? Yeah, because you're like, I'm in my own little world here. No one no one's gonna bug you. Oh, like I wanna like go to a movie and like just buy a ticket. In the costume. We have a bunch of them too. Oh, you could do that. Cool. You could just walk in downtown with us. With it. <laughs> Down the street to the yeah. restaurant? That would be amazing. Will <laughs> we get in trouble? No. No? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Nice and gentle. Your way. A little more. Up again. This way, Sam? You have the One thing that I think from the beginning, even before there was like that whole toy thing that had right. happened, nice and gentle ripping, guys. We wanted to like, do stuff that was not only gallery centric, so we're not only talking yeah. to really like like a hundred people. We yeah. wanted to like talk to the whole world. Totally. But with fine art ideas that are like unique and important. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's so much more powerful that way instead of making it like a. Sometimes the art world seems. Um, very intimidating to people. Oh, it's yeah, like, like engineers. They think it's a for that. private world. Yeah, and there's like just a small group of people who are worth this and this, and it's like that's not fun at all. Like all these people. It's outdated and it's breaking. Yeah, it really like, is. But it's scary for like our world people. But it's just about like the access point, you know? Yeah, I mean with the online shit too. I mean I sound like an old person, but like you know, like your guys' videos won't just be at a gallery on a wall. Totally. They're like online for everyone to see. Yeah. People who maybe would never go to an art gallery. Totally. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I got that song, dude. That song is so what hardcore. What song is that? The Katamari Damacy. I don't know that. You know that game? No. Katamari Damacy? No. <laughs> what? What is it? Katamari Damacy is this epic fucking video game. That is just so epic. It's just like this little, like, uh, um, like space, beans. Is and it Japanese? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you're basically trying to like make like a, a universe or a world. I don't remember what, like the mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, it's it. like you're collecting matter. Yeah. So you start what? off as like a tiny little dude, like picking up little thumbtacks and gum and shit like that, and, and you it just roll gets it bigger. Into like so you're rolling this thing, and it just becomes bigger and bigger. And at the end oh. of the game, you're collecting like planets. This is nice. Can you draw it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's outside. 
<laughs> I've been doing lots of just like shapes lately. That's cool. Shapes are good. Yeah. But it's like sometimes like the figurative idea gets in the way of like the emotional what? feeling of like a block of color, you know? Totally, like, yeah. I'm gonna switch. Oh shit, yeah. Draw on this one. Cool. Okay. Oh wow. Did you guys ever do comic books? Oh my god. Can't go there. No? Why? I'm a real big comic book nerd. Like, I fucking love mm -hmm. comic books, and especially, like, the artists that I do love, like Mobius and Tezuka. Yeah. It's like... You don't want to, like, touch it kind of thing? Yeah, it's like... It's, oh, man. This is a very specific craft. Uh, yeah. You really yeah. be any like, good at it. You gotta dive in. Yeah, totally. We've built something for ourselves where we can do anything we want, basically. Like, right. it's... We're not necessarily medium-specific. Mm -hmm. So we can do, like, a giant installation. We could do, like, a glass sculpture. Yeah. We can, like... TV show. Do, yeah, yeah, animations, like we're working on like films, interactive apps, like do almost anything. Right. But so with something no that is like a clear craft, like as Tootie was mentioning, like yeah. making comic books, it would be almost like insulting, like right. to attempt it without the pure intention. Have you read any of the Jodorowsky stuff? No. Oh, oh man. man, you should. You have to go. Jodorowsky, like beyond the films, he did these insane graphic novels that oh, wow. deal with like him doing his work as like kind of a spiritual like healer and it kind of gets conveyed through just reading the comic books like it like transforms me you know wow yeah i gotta check those out yeah you know he was supposed to do dune i know and he was gonna pink floyd do the fucking music or something jodorowsky and mobius those are some of our like that's crazy i was idols. named after that movie it's like paul mohadid that's my older brother paul Okay. And no then Alia way. is like the the chosen one, the little ball girl, you know. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So your parents, I take it, really liked it. Love that movie, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. That's an intense movie to love and name your kids after. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> Who wants to share with me? I do. Want to share? Yes. <laughs> do you guys ever get ideas from dreams? For stuff? So much. Well, yeah. I'm so glad you're bringing up dreams. <laughs> I know, I love dreams. It's like the best subject ever. So, do characters come to you in your dreams or just like concepts or? All of the all above. kinds of stuff. Yeah. It's like insane. The more that like you kind of pay attention to it and like really pay attention to like the like what the subconscious is like telling you, right. the more it will inform you. Yeah, like the best art, I don't know who said it, but there's like a quote about that. It's like the best art happens like in our dreams like there's no comparison to what we create right. can create like against that oh right right yeah you haven't done that one i love the name because it's totally representative of yeah your stuff where did it did you guys just come up with it together yeah it was just like a simple like idea that just when we first like came up with it mm -hmm. was like what we wanted to offer to people right. it was like the base concept and it's like, look, you feel weird and you feel disconnected and you feel like, like fucked up. Okay, everyone else feels like that also. Yeah. We're like here in it together, you know? And not only are we friends with you as humans, but look around you, like look at the universe and like, like nature and the wind and the synchronicity of like this dimension and right. like fall into that. Like that's all totally. friends with you, you know? Should we stop? <laughs> yeah, I was writing our name. Okay, never stop. I don't think we should stop ever, but... You're A-L-I-A? Mm-hmm. Well, these were all very successful. I think so, too. It's almost seamless. We had a good collabo right now. Yeah. I really <laughs> love this, like, flying eyeball, like, so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck did you do, Leah? It's like a weird tear cloud. <laughs> this is weird. Get out of control, man. Do you guys used to doodle in school all the time? You don't even know. Like all over everything. everything. Yes. Like an insane person. <laughs> like every single test, notes, including SATs. Covered with, everything. yeah. Totally.